So hello, Srinu. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm doing good. What about you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking me too. So now I would like to say, Srinu, can you introduce yourself for the watchers and listeners? So it will be good for them. They can know about you. So please. Sure. I'm Srinu, and I'm from Andhra Pradesh. I have been working as a teacher for the past ten years. that's it yeah that's great to hear about you so it means you are also a teacher that's really nice to know so yes. now we are going to like move towards the series of questions i will ask some questions to you so are you ready for the answers i'm ready Go yes ahead. okay so the my first question goes to you that what is the reason behind learning english for you i must say once i went to kerala on tour there i uh, there i found a lot of difficulties with uh, dealing with the local people uh, they are talking only malayalam i am don't understand malayalam and at that time i don't know english also so i find very difficult dealing with people and almost i use the sign language to interact with them so at that point i have decided strongly to learn english to become fluent in english to deal with people and i am more fascinated about learning new languages as you know english is become an international language and one more thing i would like to share with you here in india people consider people who speak fluent english as demigods they worship them now i want i also want to become a god through speaking english <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly the people they do have this kind of uh, mentality that if you're able to speak english fluently they will consider you a genius so yeah it ha- i think it happens i'm i'm happy to hear you answer so now i'm moving towards the another question of this series that is what kind of challenges are you facing while learning english so what kind of challenges are you facing nowadays okay though i am good at writing in writing when it comes to speaking i'm searching for words right now also i am facing that issue i'm searching for words i think this is due to lack of practice and i don't have english speaking environment so these are the problems that i have been facing to become fluent speaker english speaker Yeah so your main problems are that whenever you are speaking english to anybody you are not getting good vocab or you are not getting proper words in your mind to just express your thought and the second thing you are just uh, having the problem to have a good environment in andhra like you are not able to find out a partner to whom you can discuss things in english right is that correct yes yes i live in a remote uh, village where i cannot hardly find any people who can speak english so this is the main problem yeah yeah so i can, can understand your problem so i can understand uh, english movies or text whatever but when it comes to the speaking i'm searching for words it, it is a little bit difficult for me to speak in english fluently like you yes i got it okay so now moving towards another question that is what is your expectation from yourself in a speaking area come again yes what is your expectation from yourself in english speaking what do you expect from yourself yes yes i want to see myself as a good english speaker in within 6 months with a persistent practice um by doing lot of practice by talking like uh, by talking experts like you so i want to be present myself as a god by speaking english fluently <laughs> yeah of course i think so i think it means if you will speak good english then you can become god of english right that's what, <laughs> people, that's what people yeah do. yes okay i got it so now i'm moving towards another question of this series so what is your medium of education like uh, Uh, you have studied long time back but what was your medium of education 
my medium of education is my local language that is telugu i have completed entire my education in my local language telugu yeah so, so it was telugu medium so even though nowadays also just you told me that you are a primary teacher so you must be using your own language that is telugu i think whenever you are teaching to students yes yes i am using i have been using my vernacular language telugu my mother tongue yeah so yeah in in working space also you don't have any kind of environment where you can talk to anybody and uh, no. even though if you are in andhra the people they must be like you know only they want to talk in english if they are teachers also you must be having a good staff there like three three or four teachers then also they must be talking in telugu only they don't want to talk in english yes i miss that environment but unfortunately yes so okay, i got it Mm-hmm. This is not the problem. I think you are facing, Srinu. I think this is a quite, quite pro- like you know, common problem for everybody in India. Most of the people they are facing it. So you will have to create environment for yourself. Then only you can become better. Yes, yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think also. Now I have decided to create myself environment, English environment, to enhance yes. my English speaking skills. yeah so now i'm moving towards the last portion of this series so how much time are you spending for the speaking english per day like how many hours do you give towards this english speaking practice on daily basis so right now now i am spending hardly 30 minutes to 1 hour i mostly i'm not i'm not doing my speaking practice mostly i i, I have been listening to um movie or uh, watching movies or watching videos on youtube or reading uh, different different kinds of books for acquiring vocabulary and doing all these things but i don't i have uh, i'm not doing speaking practice right now yeah so that's a big problem for you it means you have been listening english stuff for long time but when it comes to speaking practice you aren't practicing speaking because you are not able to find out a good partner to whom you can discuss on daily basis right yes 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 that is the biggest problem for me yeah i got it so of course i think thank you so much for giving all the answers i understood i think by your answers that which kind of problems do you face and what are the reasons uh, you, behind learning english so of course i think we will be able to find out the solutions for it so don't worry so thank you so much for joining me today and thank you Bye take care